Well, hello, all my beautiful friends out there in YouTube land. Welcome back to the Hewitt Homestead. It is a fantastic day in Florida here where the weather is always a little bit rainy and a little bit sunny. Today we've got sun for now. Expecting off again, on again showers throughout the day. Good news is it's only about 80 degrees this morning, but the humidity is about 96%. So still feels like 86 87 degrees and it's going to get hotter so going to get started working out here at the off-grid property today and you see behind me if you've been following along got this area cleared got some dirt in here got some crushed creed in here we're going to be putting some shipping containers right here today before i do anything else i just want to run over this several times with my truck just to try and pack it down a little bit more we've had it's been sitting here for about seven days now we've had a good bit of rain the last couple of days and uh and yeah so i just want to get it packed down <clears throat> and yeah so i just want to get it packed down want to see if there's any soft spots uh any um any adjustments i need to make or whatever so gonna get busy with that and we have a lot more stuff to do today and the family's coming out later we're gonna enjoy the second half of the day this afternoon do some uh swimming and uh grilling out some hot dogs it's gonna be a good time glad you guys are here and uh, let's do it. First things first, today, folks, we have a big old bag of premium pine shavings. This is for the use, this is this is for our composting toilet and our outhouse that we built. And uh, no, more, no more scrounging around for leaves to cover the business. Let the composting begin. All right, now the second thing we're going to do for today is uh, we're going to see if we can't get our pitcher pump going on our wellhead. See over there? I got a wellhead, and I took this thing off the other day, and the water is right there at the top. So we don't have hardly anywhere to go to get the water out. And actually show you guys this there's so much groundwater pressure it's actually oozing out so so it's not like full-on artesian but it's kind of artesian I guess you would say and my neighbors over there he said his artesian well is 150 feet deep and they accidentally knocked the top off one time and it was shooting up in the air 20 30 feet so they've got a lot of water pressure. So I don't know how deep this is, and I didn't bring string or measuring tape to try and sound it and see how deep it is. But I know it's a man-made well that was once used for potable water at this site. We'll probably, we're definitely gonna pump some out, flush it out um, before we use it, and uh, then probably actually have it tested as well before we actually use it to drink. But at least we'll have running water around here that we can use for different things. I just picked this guy up at Tractor Supply yesterday and I've got me some plumbing pipes and whatnot and we're gonna get this thing going. Now my pincher pump, my pitcher pump, ooh, what's that? Hanging out right above my head. Big old banana spiders. Man, these webs are so tough. Like you can walk into them, they stretch forever before they'll actually pop. Kind of gross. Anyways, pitcher pump is inch and a quarter. This stub up just so happens to already be inch and a quarter. So it's kind of low, but uh, I, uh, for right now, we're just gonna be flushing and um and not using anyway so i'm just going to go and attach this right to the top and uh, see what happens now i know now i know you're all saying oh you need teflon tape oh you need a stronger base oh you need a 
run your pipe down with the foot valve and all this and that in your right but the water's right here we're just flushing this thing out it's very temporary I'm just gonna screw this on here and see what happens <clears throat> you know I was kind of I was really wanting to get this done but I was kind of worried about whether or not how difficult it was going to be but uh, come to find out everything matches up perfectly yeah, probably thank you father it's too easy <clears throat> That's too easy. Now, I don't know since uh, there's already a quarter inch pipe coming up the top. There might be a foot valve down here. I really don't know anything about this well. I don't know why this just tickles me so much. Just, uh, I thought I was. I mean, I've I've I purchased fifty dollars worth of plumbing parts and foot valves and different sizes just in case. So when I got out here, um, if one size didn't fit, I could make the other one fit and blah 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 blah. <clears throat> no Teflon tape. No nothing. <laughs> no pipe. No foot valve. Uh, we're good. I'm just going to pump this for a few minutes and uh, it's pretty clean. I'm not going to drink it, but uh, it smells pretty good and it is cold. There are little pieces of something coming out. <clears throat> Almost looks like leaves, but I don't know. This thing had a valve on it. It was closed. Um, maybe f flakes of algae that were growing on the inside of the pipe. I don't know. But uh, yeah. so cold. I can smell the iron and the sulfur in the water so definitely definitely gonna need to get an aerator out here once we get all of our uh, you know plumbing really hooked up our pumps our solar panels and we pump this water up out of the ground for to pressurize it for use in our home and everything else in the future definitely run it through an aerator but for right now guys the well is done all right second thing on the agenda for today is cutting down this magnolia I don't want to do it y'all but uh, just with the air that we have to work in and having to get these shipping containers in this magnolia right here behind me with all the vines on it the trees not dead every all that dead stuff you see are the vines that were growing up and over it that we cut and they've died off now but the tree itself I got to get a shipping container in over here and there's just not going to be enough room for him to swing it and get it over here with that tree that all right so I want this magnolia tree here to fall over this way this one's already leaning that way this one's leaning the opposite direction but it's not huge if it has to fall this way it can and then I'll just then I'll just buck it up and drag it over here Oh, uh, everything is so wet out here. I wanted to light some fires and get some stuff burning, but I think I'll be fighting a losing battle there. It is so wet out here.
small one's leaning that way and the big one's leaning that way and the vines got them tied together and they're just sitting there. It's kind of a dangerous situation. Let me, uh, I'm going to give it a little push push, see if that can't help. So, the big tree's just, I mean, there's just a hair of hingewood. Uh, I can't believe it's not falling over. The smaller one leaning out this way is, I mean, I've got about an inch of hingewood left. They're just standing straight up. I can't even push on the thing and get it tilting. Oh gosh, this is scary, guys. This is so scary. Uh, I'm gonna take out a little more of this backwood. Uh, without trying, without cutting through the hinge wood, and uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna give it a little. I'm gonna cut, cut it a little more, and then if that doesn't work, I'm gonna tie. Try to tie a rope around and pull it with a truck. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just gonna do that. No reason to die today. Wow, that was close. Well, the tree is down, guys. Sorry, I did not film it. I began, I tied the, I tied the rope around the tree right there, and I walked out here, and I realized this is not a very long rope. I was standing right here, and I realized, oh, wait a minute, this was just a 50 foot long rope. And I was looking up, and I was like, that tree's probably 100 feet, nah, it was probably 75 feet tall. So I think I got about 25 feet too little rope. And, uh. And I was just kind of tugging on it to see how far the rope would come out. And uh, I looked up and that thing was starting to fall. I had to jump up out of the way, y'all. I mean, it wasn't real close. But it is enough to make the hair on the back of your neck stand up. You know what I'm saying? Whoo! Well, she's down. So now what I'm going to do... <clears throat> and thank God they both went that way. The big one was had enough weight and, and lean to pull the little one that way. So... We got some bucking to do, and then kind of push this stuff out of the way. Uh, let it uh, dry up and brown up over here on the side. And I need to get this stump out of the way so when the tractor trailer guy comes to bring in my my uh, my uh, shipping container, he's got more room now to maneuver and try to get it over there on that side. Success! <laughs> good times, y'all. Good times. I'm glad you're here with us. It's you, yeah, boy The one who showed me now and forever Know you'll never be alone again All day, oh yeah, all day Please stay in my arms, boy The one who showed me if we're together It don't matter if it rains All day, oh yeah, all day As long as you're in my arms, boy mm. It's you and me on this beautiful day And smiling, holding on to your tongue